This compact yet highly effective tactical tool plays a vital role in various operations. A stun or flashbang grenade is a non-lethal explosive device commonly used by law enforcement and military personnel for tactical purposes, such as clearing operations, crowd control, and disorienting suspects. It is designed to temporarily incapacitate and disorient individuals through a combination of intense light, deafening noise, and a pressure wave, all without causing significant physical harm. Let's dive into the intricate components and workings of a stun grenade. 1. Outer Shell The outer shell serves as the protective casing of the grenade, typically made of cast steel. Upon initiation, the auditory and visual elements are released through perforations in the shell. This carefully engineered design minimizes the risk of collateral damage caused by flames, blasts, or unconsumed fragments from the inner casing. 2. M240 Fuse The M240 fuse is the heart of the flash grenade. It is essential for initiating the detonation process and ensuring precise timing. The fuse has a time delay, usually set to approximately 1.5 seconds. 3. Explosive Element Attached to the fuse is the explosive component. The M84 grenade uses a pyrotechnic mixture composed of magnesium and ammonium oxidant, encased in thin aluminum. Unlike the high explosives used in traditional ordnance, this mixture produces a subsonic explosion, not a supersonic detonation, which helps minimize the blast's destructive effects. Activation Process the transformation of the grenade into a blinding and disorienting device occurs in a precise sequence of events. Arming the grenade, the grenade becomes armed once the primary and secondary safety pins are removed, releasing the safety lever, commonly called the spoon. If the lever is not released, the grenade remains inactive. Detonation Sequence When pressure is released from the safety lever, the striker, driven by a spring, rotates on its axis, dislodging the lever. The striker then hits the M42 primer, a small explosive component located at the top of the grenade. Ignition. The primer ignites, creating a spark that activates the first fire mixture. This, in turn, ignites the delay element, which burns for approximately 1.5 seconds. Final detonation. At the end of this delay, the burning element reaches the detonator or igniter, composed of materials such as lead stiffnate and lead azide. These compounds burn rapidly, triggering the final detonation of the grenade. Effects Once detonated, the grenade emits an intense flash of light, a loud explosive sound, and a pressure wave that effectively disorients and incapacitates individuals in its vicinity. This combination ensures maximum